Hey guys, this is Modek here and today we're going to check out Google camera for the Samsung Galaxy A70. So the Galaxy A70 like a lot of other Samsung phones gets camera to API enabled by default. But then unlike a lot of other Samsung phones, this phone does not run on the Exynos chipset. So the A70 gets the Snapdragon 675 and as a result Google camera apps are actually compatible with this phone. So today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Google camera for the Samsung Galaxy A70. So without wasting any more time let's get started and if you have the Galaxy A70 and you want the best tempered glass for it definitely check out my friends over at glazeding.com they have the real curved tempered glass for the Galaxy A70 so this is the only glass in India that actually has 2.5D curved edges so definitely check it out i've been using it on my Galaxy A70 and i really like it you can also use the promo code gizmo to save 10% off your order So as you know every now and then you have a lot of new Gcam apps coming in so it's very confusing as to which app is actually working on the Samsung Galaxy A70 so I actually tried out a couple of Google camera apps and I'm linking the one that I'm actually using in the description box now this may change over time but then currently I'm going to link the most stable one that I have personally been using on my Galaxy A70 so once you download this APK and install it on your phone you have to change a couple of settings before you can actually you know start using it So once you have the Google camera app open it and then go to the BSG mod settings here scroll down to fix and here click on the image format and by default as you can see it would be jpeg but then now we need to change it to yuv 42088 default so as you can see this is the image format that you have to use because otherwise you might have some issues in the viewfinder so make sure that the image format is selected to this and you can also go to the input model and change the front facing camera to nexus 6p Now I would recommend you to do this you know in the start but then in case front facing camera is not working on the Gcam app that you're using just change the front facing camera model to Nexus 6P instead of the Pixel 3 XL and then you should not have any issues. So once you make two of these changes I think then you should be fine with using Google camera on your Galaxy A70. So now let's get to the image quality and compare the stock camera samples to the samples from the Galaxy A70. So if you're going to compare images in broad daylight as you can see overall Google camera produces much more pleasing images as compared to the stock camera app. For some reason images taken from Gcam look a lot more alive as compared to the stock app the stock app kind of looks faded in comparison to Gcam. So I think Google camera definitely has better colors especially when you look at the color of the sky it's a lot more alive and a lot more blue on Google camera as compared to the stock camera app. The stock camera app like I said for some reason looks a little faded in comparison to the Google camera and I really like the colors and the contrast that we have on Gcam. But then one area where actually the stock camera does a better job is in terms of shadows. So if you can see shadows are a lot more clear on the stock app as compared to the Google camera app. But then that's about it. If you compare everything else, I think Google camera does better than the stock app. So my pick would be the Google camera app. Then we move on to the indoor conditions and here as you can see Google camera once again produces more contrasty, more uh, colorful images as compared to the stock camera app. Even the dynamic range is actually a bit better in Google camera as compared to the stock app. But then if you once again want to talk about the shadows, the stock app definitely does better job in highlighting the shadows as compared to the Google camera app. And one other advantage that the stock camera app has is that the noise is less in the stock camera app as compared to Google camera. But then if you actually zoom into the photos the Google camera now has more details as compared to the stock app. So what the stock app is doing is that it's trying to reduce the noise and that is actually hampering the details as well. So that's kind of a trade off but then I still think the output is actually not that bad from Google camera. Then finally we come to the extreme low lighting conditions and here you've got night sight. Yes, night sight is actually working on the Galaxy A70. It's not working that well as it works on the Redmi Note 7 Pro or the Poco F1 or something like that, but it still works and there is a drastic difference in the photos taken from the stock app and the photos taken from Gcam with night sight. So yes, I really liked using night sight on this phone because it does make a difference and that's why you should install Google camera on the Galaxy A70. Talking about the portrait mode on the rear facing camera I honestly didn't like samples from the Google camera app. The dynamic range overall is good but as you can see it underexposes the face a lot and it makes your face look very very dark. So majority of the people would pick the output from the stock app even I would prefer the stock app. So the stock app is winner in terms of the portrait mode in broad daylight. 
But then when you move into the indoor conditions, here the portrait mode shots from Google camera are much better than that of the stock app. As you can see, the skin tones look a lot better in Google camera as compared to the stock app and the overall image is better. So yeah, definitely in terms of the portrait mode, if you were to talk about indoor conditions, the Google camera is better. In outdoor conditions, the stock app is better. That's also actually true about the selfies. So if you can compare the selfies in broad daylight, once again, I would prefer the stock app. But then for some reason, the stock app uses some kind of beautification mode. I've specifically gone to the settings to turn it off, but even after that, there is still some kind of beautification done. But regardless, I would still prefer the output from the stock app as compared to the Google camera app. But then when you move into the indoor conditions here, once again, selfies are a lot better on Google camera as compared to the stock app. So I think Google camera is having some problems when there is like a harsh source of light. So in daylight conditions, it's not doing that well in terms of portrait mode. But then when you move indoors, it handles things very, very well. You can see the results on the screen right now. So yeah, in terms of indoor mode, once again, I would prefer the Google camera in terms of selfies. The stock camera has a couple of other advantages as well because you can record videos up to 4K plus you've also got electronic image stabilization at 1080p and you've also got that wide angle lens that you can actually use in some scenarios. So you've got that bit of an advantage there and in terms of Google camera, the app is completely not compatible. I say that because if you go into the Google camera settings, the max resolution that you can click photos at with the rear facing camera is only 32 megapixel and on the front facing camera it's only 5.2 megapixels so yeah that is something that i didn't like so that is uh, the reason why you cannot even record 4k videos in google camera but then regardless i would still recommend you to install the google camera app on our galaxy a70 it definitely improves the performance in terms of daylight the night side photos are better plus if you talk about the portrait mode in indoor conditions which is where a lot of people take photos it's definitely better on google camera as compared to the stock app so I'm really happy that Google camera is working on the Galaxy A70. I really tried it to get it to work on the Galaxy A50, but it just didn't. So if you have the Galaxy A70, just download the APK, make sure that you follow the settings and use Google camera on your phone. And yes, I will be comparing the camera performance of the A70 with the A50 very, very soon. So make sure that you subscribe for that. Anyways, as of now, this was my video about Google camera on the Galaxy A70. If you guys enjoyed watching it, Please let me know in the comments, please let me know your feedback and also if you guys have any more requests then you can ask me on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages. If you are new here then definitely hit the red subscribe button, press the bell icon so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. That's all for now, thanks for watching and I'm gonna be back in the notifications very very soon. Peace.